This is an interesting case I'd like to share with you. This patient has a high axial length of uh, more than 28 millimeters, as well as a high amount of corneal astigmatism. Uh, she desired correction for distance vision without uh, glasses or contact lens use. And uh, this posed an issue in terms of having a proper uh, IOL power and thus avoiding an additional uh, corneal procedure uh, such as LASIK. Uh, the eye underwent femtosecond laser treatment and the lenticular material was evacuated. The capsular bag polished. The axial length had been determined by optical means and the uh, axial length was modified as described by Wang et al to calculate a more accurate spherical component in these high axial myopes. Given that the uh, lowest power spherical component of a proper toric lens was uh, higher than the necessary correction uh, to achieve uh, emetropic vision, um, a uh, piggyback set was then calculated using the holiday consultant in order to prepare the eye for receiving these uh, two lenses the posterior capsule was incised under cover of viscoelastic and additional viscoelastic was placed through this central capsule opening to dissect uh, the anterior hyloid from the posterior capsule and communicate burger space to Garnier's the anterior capsulotomy was a template that permitted a fairly accurate and round posterior capsule opening to be fashioned with utrot forceps. Additional cohesive viscoelastic was used to inflate the capsule rim, and a standard capsular tension ring was introduced using forceps to help aid in stability of this. Um, piggyback set of IOLs. A single piece of acrylic lens was introduced into the capsule bag. This is the toric lens as you can see from the label on the package. And the haptics are oriented in the proper meridian for correcting the astigmatic component and then the optic is then prolapsed through the posterior capsulotomy. A minus powered sulcus lens three piece in design was then introduced and uh, captured through the anterior capsulotomy thus completing the pseudophagic correction of this patient for an excellent 20-20 uncorrected vision and a stable result.